The app we chose to do was called Fit On. This is Marissa Critchlow, Megan Kreibel, and Derek Chafin. Fit On is available in the App Store and Google Play. With this app, it does have a 4.8 star rating, which is why over a million people have downloaded this app. And it is also number 16 on the top health and fitness apps for the Google Play Store. Some of Fit On's quick features is that they have on-demand videos so you can work out at any time, day or night. They also have scheduled workouts with trainers, so you can actually watch with a trainer live as they show you how to work out. And then they also have device columns about fitness and nutrition as well. Here are some of the screenshots of what the app looks like. The first one is the on-demand videos. The middle is the scheduled live videos with trainers. And then the last one is the advice articles. Fit on Pro is the paid version of this app. With the app, uh, it is $19.99 for six months or $29.99 for the full year. With the Pro version, you do get personalized meal plans as well as over 500 exclusive recipes, unlimited downloads on those on-demand fitness videos, a fitness tracker, and then also premium music that you can listen to while you work out. We believe the health benefit model relates to the Fit On app the most. Uh, some of the reasons is the cue to action, the perceived benefits, and the self-efficacy. Some of the ways the app utilizes the health belief model is the cue to action. So with that, the app helps you schedule your workouts and even keeps you busy with reminders. And then it also asks you about the specific goals you have in either your weight loss, toning, or just trying to get into fitness journey. Another way the app utilizes the health belief model is the perceived benefit. Um, the way that this app works, it is very considered a time. It asks you how much you want to work out, how many times a week, and then also lets you choose what areas of class you would like to work on the most. The last way the app utilizes the health belief model is self-efficacy. Uh, this is a confidence in one's own ability to be able to perform a certain task. So the way that this app utilizes self-efficacy is that it provides a personal trainer to help with you along with other workouts on demand and articles to kind of keep you motivated and keep showing you that you can do it as your workout routine goes on. This was from Healthy People 2020 about trying to get people to engage in aerobic physical activity at least for 150 minutes a week for moderate intensity workouts or 75 minutes a week for vigorous intensity workouts or just trying to get people to do a combination of both during the week. So with this study, 43.5% uh, engage with 150 minutes a week at least doing moderate intensity workouts or 75 minutes a week doing vigorous intensity workouts back in 2008. The goal of physical activity is to improve your health, fitness, and quality of life. With the quality of life, because you are physically active, it helps reduce the risk of many diseases and illnesses, such as coronary heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, breast and colon cancer, and much more. A lot of the benefits of physical activity is that it improves your bone health, it decreases the levels of body fat, and improves your cognitive skills, and all around, the more physically active you are, the better you feel and the more energy you have. Here are some ways that we believe Fit On can be improved. We feel like free meal recipes, instead of requiring payment for all of the recipes listed on the app, is ideal. That way people can try out some of the recipes and see if they like it before purchasing the Pro. Also include motivational quotes to make sure that people are staying active. Include a feature that shows the proper way to use gym equipment, just in case someone goes to a gym like Planet Fitness and needs to know how to use the equipment 
or barcode scanning. That way they can log their nutrition info about the food that they are consuming. And here are our citations for the information that we found. So if Fit1 does interest you, go ahead and go to the App Store or Google Play and download it today.